Hello everyone, my name is David. My name is Esteban. And we're both strategists at Centrico Digital. Um, we make this video because a lot of our clients usually ask us, what is Marketing Cloud? Uh, why is it different from HubSpot or Salesforce Pardot? And what are the advantages and perhaps disadvantages of having uh, this marketing automation tool for us? So uh, Esteban is our expert at Centrico Digital. Uh, he has a lot of certifications on Marketing Cloud and he's gonna give us a, a quick demo uh, on how it works and what are the main functionalities of this software. All right, thank you, David, for the introduction. Let me start by sharing with you uh, Marketing Cloud's main dashboard. Um, so to start off with, I would say that Marketing Cloud is a customer engagement platform at a global scale or at a very big scale. And what you have with Marketing Cloud that probably other platforms don't give you as easy as, as Marketing Cloud does is a multi-channel approach where you could reach your audience via different uh, platforms. So you've got email studio for email communications. Then you have mobile studio where you can send push notifications, uh, SMS, for instance, and line messages. You've got social studio if you want to do some social media monitoring as well. Uh, you've got advertising studio if you want to connect your marketing cloud account with Facebook ads, with Google ads, and several other uh, advertising partners. You have that option as well. Then you've got Web Studio where you could create uh, cloud pages or, or landing pages to host your content and to host your forms uh, that will get into Marketing Cloud afterwards. Uh, Interaction Studio is something that's still in development in some continents. For instance, Latin America is not yet developed with Interaction Studio, but it's a tool that allows you to uh, check on real-time interaction from your customers and make decision, uh, decisions based on that real-time interaction. Uh, you've got your analytics builder where you can run reports and also connect your web domain uh, for for website tracking and probably the most appealing tool for marketers is journey builder because uh, it's where you design your customer journey so if we go if we go to journey builder for a second you will see here that uh, when we start a journey we're going to just uh, start creating a journey from scratch and see how that goes uh, you uh, get several options here at the beginning. You can send, you can make a single send journey just for an email send, a transactional send journey where you, you can connect via API your uh, your several accounts. So if you get a message or if you get a transaction from a customer in your CRM, then you can trigger a message via Marketing Cloud as well. And you have the multi-step journey, which is one of the, the ones that I enjoy the most. Uh, so you start, for instance, with an entry source, mostly or in, in most of the cases, uh, a data extension would be your entry point. A data extension is like a spreadsheet where you where you host your data and you, you start from there where you have your customers stored. And starting from that, then you start designing or implementing the customer journey based on the actions you want to take. So for instance, you uh, can start by sending an email and then you wait and based on the engagement, so if you, if you add here an engagement split activity, you can make decisions on what to do. So how I like to picture journeys it usually is that uh, I take this path as the ideal path that a customer should take. So if a customer, for instance, engages with my email and does the, the action that I want uh, them to perform, then I'll probably just update the contact probably uh, and make them exit the journey. If they didn't, probably I want to try another channel, right? So I want to reach, to, to reach them, uh, to reach the right customer at the right time through the right channel, no? So I would probably try, for instance, an in-app message uh, if I know that they use the app, which I probably know by my, my data source. And then what happens is uh, when you get uh, the desired uh, result, you can actually join again both ends of the journey and say, okay, these guys uh, took the path that I wanted that I wanted them to take and you join them towards the, the, the desired path of the customer journey. So I would say, this is a very fun part of Marketing Cloud because it's where you actually develop your marketing strategy and put that into practice as well. Uh, but Marketing Cloud, uh, it's easy on, on every end, I would say. It has some technical background, uh, but when it comes to content, for instance, in Content, in content Builder, it's really easy to build an email. So you, just, you can host here all of your archives in Content Builder. Uh, in, you can organize them in folders and keep all your, your accounts uh, clean. And to start a content, it's uh, or to create a piece of content, is just really simple. For instance, we're going to create here an email message. Uh, you can choose from a Marketing Cloud predefined template, 
or you can create one on your own. You can start from scratch from an, in, from an empty canvas or you can upload your HTML template as well. I'm going to choose uh, one just to show you uh, how you can personalize your email. Let's create a test email for. Uh, and I want to show you how you can experiment a little bit with dynamic content uh, within the marketing cloud. So here, um, for instance, what I'm going to do with my email uh, just to start, I'm going to add a logo. So let's replace this image with uh, a company logo that we already have in our content builder. And here, what we're going to do is we're going to personalize, personalize this email uh, with dynamic content. So I'm going to delete actually this uh, email string, this uh, image string, and I'm going to replace it for uh, a dynamic content module that you find here. How does uh, this work? So dynamic content work works by rules. The thing is, uh, you have to upload first default content. So what, what is a prospect going to see if they don't match any of the rules that we're going to set up later? So we're going to put this one as our default content uh, instance, and then we're going to start creating rules. So we want to create those rules, for instance, based on our uh, databases or data extensions. So I'm going to take uh, this data extension, uh, this test data extension that we already have created, and then I'm going to get here the fields from that data extension. So I'm going to create a first rule, for example, if the uh, country of my customer equals Mexico, then I'm going to display this Viva Mexico, for instance, uh, banner. And that's rule number one. And I can keep on personalizing this uh, uh, by the country of origin of my, con of my customer. So in rule number two, I'm going to put that if uh, the customer country equals Canada, then I'm going to display something else. Uh, I'm going to put this Canadian landscape there and let's put the last one just to uh, test with one more. You could put as well uh, if the country equals to United Kingdom, then you're going to put uh, a London banner. And just to show you how this works, uh, then if we go to uh, our preview and test section, first we have to Put a subject to the email and if we preview and test what we just have done you can actually here choose how a subscriber is going to uh, see your email so for example i'm going to show you this database that we have here already implemented uh, that is the test it's a test data extension uh, of of our account addresses and for instance, you see, this is me. Um, I have as country Colombia. So since I don't match any of the rules, I'm going to get the default content. But if we go to David, he's going to get the, Me the Viva Mexico banner because he has uh, as country Mexico. Then Anna is going to get the, the, the UK banner. Uh, this one is also default because it doesn't have any info on country. And uh, for instance, Matt, that it's in, in Canada, is going to get this different banner. So you can personalize at a big scale. Imagine this in, in, in a database of 200,000 prospects that you already have uh, as contacts uh, and it's as easy as that so it's really intuitive to to add dynamic content and in general uh, interacting with marketing cloud is pretty easy uh, david i think i'm gonna i'm gonna leave it there uh, i don't know if you have any co additional comments about marketing clouds uh, you want to share um yeah no this was this was a great demo uh thank you for all the detail and uh as we can see marketing cloud is a very sophisticated tool and one of the questions that clients usually ask us is uh, why marketing cloud? Why marketing cloud instead of HubSpot or Salesforce Pardot? Uh, what do you think is the big difference um, for us to recommend marketing cloud for a client, to a client? That's a very good question. I think first of all, marketing cloud, it's, it's pretty easy to uh, generate cross-channel engagement with marketing cloud. So if you want to interact with email, mobile, uh, advertising, you can do it pretty easily through Marketing Cloud, which I think, for instance, Pardot or HubSpot don't give you that those that, that easy, easy of use, I would say, or that ease of use. Uh, and if you want to target customers at a big scale, Marketing Cloud definitely is the tool for you. Uh, it's not necessarily B2B or B2C. I mean, you could be a B2B company and use Marketing Cloud, but well, mostly B2C companies tend to like Marketing Cloud because they have very big databases that they don't know how to host or where, or where to host. And the data model that Marketing Cloud has allows you to, to store data extension with 200,000 records or really big contact volume. So I would say that's another plus for, for Marketing Cloud as well. 
Awesome. Thank you very much for that, uh, for that response. And uh, for all the people who are watching this demo, uh, if you have any other questions about Marketing Cloud um, and marketing automation in general, uh, you can always contact us at david at centricodigital.com or Esteban at esteban.sanchez at centricodigital.com. And uh, yeah, thank you very, very much for watching. Thank you.